man goes by the name of Jim Mosco. For those of you who ever run into him, then you know. He's one mean son of a bitch. Just don't turn your back on a man like Mosco. Cause he'll cut your heart out. Even if you were his closest friend. his outfit for a while. Started off rustling cattle mostly, small time stuff. Then we moved on to robbing banks and trains. I didn't mind stealing. It's actually kind of fun sometimes. But Jim, he took it to a whole nother level. I recall one time after hosting a 401 out of Indiana, we had the money bags in hand. It wasn't enough for Jim. He wanted blood. He pissed the whip the conductor, dragged him out to the track, tied him down, and just waited for the next train. He just wanted to watch. Moscow always used to say, I ain't living without killing. things didn't get any better. He went on a rampage, murdering, thieving, raping. It wasn't about money anymore. It wasn't me anymore. I had to get away. Wanted, dead or alive. Shit, I like to shake the man's hand and brings him in alive. Buy him around the drinks afterwards, too. Because there's only one way I know to get this bastard. Shoot him dead. Besides, it ain't money I'm after. Day after I told him I wanted out, came home to my wife, lying in the bathtub, filled with her own brains. Son of a bitch took everything from me. Now I'm gonna blow his fucking head off. I wasn't the only one, though. I found John Coughlin hanging by his neck in front of the courthouse after he threatened to turn him in. Moscow justice. Then later found his brother Tom dragged to death by his feet. The other end was tied to the bull's horns. And he busted it on Frank Caffey, killed him right there in front of his wife at the dinner table. Got him in the back.
sometimes I think if I find them, I wouldn't be able to do it. Funny thing is, I kind of like the guy. Somebody's got to do something about this sick bastard. 